right, we are back with another vlog. It's been a while. Don't mind the iPhone, guys. I know I've been iPhone game for so long, but I have a brand new camera on the way. Sick vlogging camera. I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, it's a beautiful day today. You know, we got a beautiful view. You guys already know the office. It's been a little bit since I've shown you, but we got some nice carpet in there. You know, we got the watch. Uh, and then we also just set this up recently, actually a couple days ago, um, for the background of my videos. Cause I know it's plain. I know it's plain with the plain wall here. And uh, I just got to make it a little bit more enjoyable for you guys, but just a little simple day in the life today. Uh, we'll see if we get to anything crazy, but in terms of trading, oops. <laughs> In terms of trading, I just took a swing trade position uh, on AUD CAD. I will break this down for you later in the video. We'll see how we go. We have CPI in about 30 minutes for CAD. So hopefully this pushes a CAD up. That'd be beautiful. Uh, but the agenda for today is because I'm a swing trader now, if you guys didn't see this before one of my older videos, I fully switched to swing trading now. Now, the reason for this switch is because I want to have more time throughout my day to do things that I want to do. You know, waking up every day and being on the charts for four hours in the morning isn't something I really want to do anymore. It doesn't fit my lifestyle. You know, you guys know I moved back home near friends, family. So I'm able to do so many more things than I was when I was back in my old location where it was just my fiance and I. If you guys haven't seen, I'm engaged now as well to my girlfriend at the time. You guys have seen her. In all the videos but yeah we're engaged now so i have a fiance so a lot to update you on and uh it's awesome i figured it'd be a great time to, to film a vlog here and uh yeah i'm just super grateful you guys are tuning in and if you do like these vlogs and you want to see more of them please drop a like and comment hit that subscribe button if you're new one thing i will tell you guys is i cannot wait for the warmer weather in this place you guys have seen me post this view many times absolutely beautiful it's a little bit zoomed in right now because the camera but it still i don't think does it justice but yeah, beautiful, beautiful spot. Looking forward to this warmer weather. If you guys are in the Toronto area, you guys know that we've been getting teased with weather. You know, we've been having a beautiful weather, then a little chilly weather like this, but I just can't wait for it. And those of you who comment on my videos all the time in the day in the life that you live in somewhere warm, I am so jealous of you because that is something I would love to have. All right, guys, so right now I just wanted to hop on and quickly break down why I took this trade. We'll see if it works out. If it doesn't, that's completely okay. Uh, but if we look on the weekly time frame here, you can see that we have... Swept liquidity to the left over here before having a big shift to the upside. We then retrace down into this fair value gap. And then we've had some nice bullish candles out of here. I want to see us target these highs up here. That's my target. I also have this target down here as well. Um, but then we retraced into this weekly demand zone. On the daily time frame as well, you can see that we had this daily breaker structure. So we're in this daily demand as well. And then on the four hour time frame, we came into this four hour order block within this daily demand zone. And if we refine it even more on the hourly, there's this fair value gap that we came and filled. So yeah, uh, weekly bullish, daily bullish, four hour bullish. We'll see if this continues. Like I said, we got CPI in 20 minutes. So that'll probably, you know, be an indicator of where we're gonna go if I'm right or wrong. But I've been waiting for this one since we had this bullish leg. So now we gotta just kind of wait and see and kind of set and forget and let it do its thing. and. You know, the beauty thing about swing trading is you don't have to sit and watch the charts all day long. You can just literally set it and forget it. And it's a beautiful thing. I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. And it, like I said earlier, it fits my lifestyle a lot. I'm able to, I'm able to do so many other things. I want to really take my YouTube channel to the next level as well with vlogs, trading content, psychology content, you name it. I want to have it. I want to have a ton of free content for you guys as well that you can learn and become a better trader, better human. That's the goal here. So with all this time, I'm gonna be able to do that. So without further ado, let's just keep up with the vlog and see where the day takes it. Hopefully it's interesting enough for you guys and you can drop that like and drop a comment for your boy. So even though I'm swing trading each morning, I still send out my markups into the Discord community of what I think the team should be looking at intraday. Even though I'm not trading intraday anymore, they're still extremely valuable. So I'll send out the analysis on our intraday pairs. Then obviously just chat with the team in here, see what's up and uh, hopefully the team can catch some absolute banger trades. I mean, hopefully our analysis is correct. If it is, you know you guys will hear about it. And if it's wrong, you probably won't. I'm just kidding, either way you will hear about it. <laughs> and if you didn't know, we did add a swing trading section to RM Trading, which has been beautiful. A lot of people are really, really enjoying this. And we have some B swing traders in here. A couple of us are looking at this AUD CAD long as well. And hopefully this thing hits TP. That would be absolutely beautiful if the team was able to catch a banger right off the bat. All right, we got two minutes until news release. Nice reaction so far. 
We'll see if this can keep up. But like I had previously said, if this trade doesn't work out, that's totally okay because we're trading our plan. And at the end of the day, that's all we can do. If I'm being honest, it's been a pretty slow year for me so far. Each month I've finished profitable, but not by a lot, not to my expectations and my hopes and dreams of this for the start of 2024, but that's okay. Q2 is gonna be a banger, I can already feel it. All my trader friends have said that Q1 has been pretty slow for them, whether you were a swing trader or a day trader like myself. So hopefully we get some nice movement in Q2 and we start to see the markets moving very, very nicely. And then we can look to take advantage of that. Running nice so far, I'm not sure you guys can see that. Running nice so far on this trade, about 3K. Hopefully this thing can buzz. I have taken this on my personal account, then I've taken it on uh, SFT, I took it on Funded Engineer, I took it on FTMO as well. So some good profits if this thing hits take profit. That'll be absolutely beautiful across many accounts. All right guys, welcome to a new segment of Cooking with Mac. In this video, I'm gonna, I'm just kidding guys, but it's breakfast time and I wanna show you guys a little game bowl, this is what I call it, for those who are trying to get yoked. Like myself, you know, I'm trying to look like C bum by by the week, uh, by the day. So uh, this is definitely going to help. So I just want to explain this to you guys. So you need some uh, organic blueberries, need some organic granola here, need some protein yogurt, 16 grams protein, that bad boy. Some nice organic peanut butter with the crunchy, and then some brand new, not bruised at all bananas. Um, hopefully these are still good but you need one of these, okay? So this is a little dish here, and then I'll show you guys here in a sec what we do next. All right, so you guys probably guessed it. First thing you do is put in the yogurt. Next step is gonna be putting in the granola. So after the granola, you make a little bit of mess, got a little bit on the floor there, but that's okay. After that, we are going to be doing the banana and the blueberries. Then you wanna slice up these bananas and then throw the blueberries on there. Then the last step is this beautiful peanut butter. And I'll show you guys in one second what it looks like afterwards. All right, so here is your finished product. You can stir that bad boy around, it's up to you. I mean, it's probably the most appealing meal you've ever seen in your life, I agree. Then you wanna just leave all this on here and uh, you know, leave it up to your fiance to clean it up. I'm just kidding guys, give me one sec. Much better. All right guys, now I'm gonna sit back, enjoy this gains bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed cooking with Mac. And I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm still in this trade, obviously. Beautiful reaction so far. So we'll just have to see what's up. Just chat with the Discord community. You know, super light morning so far. And then I'm going to the gym at around 10, 30 or 11. I'll bring you guys with me. We'll get some shots of me trying to be C-bum. And then we'll go on with the day from there. All right guys, we're heading to the gym right now. I will get some footage when we're there and I'll see you there in a second. back from the gym i hope you guys enjoyed that little clip montage as the workout went on me and my buddy forgot to record clips we were just into it and enjoying it not used to filming at the gym so give me a little bit of slack there but i hope you guys enjoyed it starting to snow here in uh in canada not too happy about this but yeah this is the other view of the office not bad not bad but yeah you can see that we uh we unfortunately we're gonna get some snow and I hate that with a passion. So I don't know what time it is right now. I don't have my watch on me. Let me check. It's about two o'clock right now. So I'm gonna sit down at the charts with you guys and take a look. I haven't checked my phone or anything uh, for the for the charts. So we'll see, we'll see what the market's been doing since I've been away from my day. But this is the cool thing about sw swing trading that I love so much, you know, that I'm out and about on with my day and still being able to just profit or lose if the trade lost. I'm not sure, I haven't checked, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'll meet you guys on the charts here for a little sec and we'll chat from there. All right, so you can see we did have some sort of retracement here, which is expected, especially when we had such a nice bullish candle. We do have this imbalance down here. So hopefully the market just rallies from this imbalance level. We have all of this low resistance liquidity up here to be taken, or we could come down deeper into this region here before longing. That's hopefully what happens. Again, who knows? Beautiful reaction to start the day though uh, on AUD CAD. So that'd be ideal if we do rally and we will have a nice rejection candle here, hopefully in the next 
uh, three hours before this day is over. So now it's the time of day right now where I jump on the charts and I kind of do, I do some markups. So I'll go over what happened that session. And then I'll also check the group. You can see shout out Andre, guy in the group passed his challenge today, which is amazing. We love to see that. So yeah, it's gonna be a little kind of admin style day for the rest of my day. Uh, I will be doing a case study as well for the group where I go over the markets that have, I go over the opportunities that happen in the market today uh, and then I'll post those out uh, on the website at RM Trading. So make sure to click the link in the description. You guys won't be disappointed at all, but that's kind of the rest of my day. And then I'm going to be waiting for uh, my fiance to get home from work. It's tax season. She's an accountant. So hopefully not too late, but yeah, I don't really have much to do other than this. So I'm not too sure how far the vlog will go. I'm not just gonna record myself literally sitting there, uh, but I'll try and be as productive as possible. Uh, when we're taking a look at price action here, you can see it was very obvious we were gonna have some sort of bullish day, uh, just based on where we were across the board, where we were on AU. Pay attention, we're in a nice demand zone. We're in a daily order block on EU. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a realistic day in my life right now. Don't worry, there will be more exciting vlogs to come as warmer weather comes. You guys can obviously see it's snowing out. I'm taking a little break now before I go start some other work, but no point in bringing you along with it. So if you did enjoy this video, please drop a like, drop a comment, hit subscribe if you're new, it helps the algorithm. And what do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one.